I need to figure out how I can film this entire section of the vlog with you guys just facing in this direction so you don't have to see all the crud that's going on back here. See, I would normally vlog in front of the kitchen window because the lighting is flipping fantastic, but now, now you can see my clean washing that I haven't put away and a, a, a huge pile of, of stuff. What even is all that? I've been up since very early this morning doing housework. I've got most of it done. I'm not doing too badly. I've just got to take the dogs out uh, to the toilet and then I've got to head to the supermarket to get some foodies. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> that ball was hidden under the sofa. And so he's missed it and I didn't know it was gone. And he's been so excited to have it back. Oh, he's such a cutie. Yes, you are. And this is the current state of my rodent room. Yes, they have to be seasonally cleaned out as well. I have all of my supplies out in the middle of the floor, um, which, which, yeah, that's a thing. I used to keep all this stuff stored in a set of drawers that I now have moved to the guest bathroom because there just wasn't enough space anymore. I have too much stuff. Um, so I'm going to be moving all of these into storage boxes that I have and then storing them in the wardrobes because these wardrobes are ridiculously tall. The rodents are both currently sleeping. I've changed their water today so they have some nice fresh drinks and I gave them fresh food last night but Ozzy has completely buried hers so that's fun. She's sleeping in here at the minute. So yeah nothing much exciting going on with those two. Ooh, I think I might be disturbing him. I'm gonna leave before I wake him up. On a more serious note though can we just at how tall this grass is? <laughs> Seriously this is chest height on me. I know I'm only small, but this is still ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, John. Let's keep going. Oof. have you been getting up to you little troublemaker what have you done to disappointment <laughs> you turned him inside out and what have you done to your log as well like dude <laughs> you're far too cute though yeah <laughs> his favorite treats cheese flavored dreamies also need to appreciate these mad food hiding skills Good job. What I find to be the most interesting though is that this coconut was full of hay, which means he's obviously moved it, except I can't find it anywhere. I don't know where he's put it. He's hidden his hay and it was a lot of hay. Maybe he's put it in his house? No, this is just a magician's sleeve. And there's my beautiful spider princess. Hello. Hey. I love how you've gone just the tiniest bit splotchy this winter. <laughs> oh, honey, it's time to change back. Spring has arrived. What are you trying to do? You want to come to me? <laughs> no, I just want to go. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. You big brute. to work when I got your cute little face ball from me all the time, huh? huh? Oh. Oh, you think you're gonna climb up here, do you? <laughs> this is not how this works. <laughs> hey, puppy. Hi. I'm absolutely covered in your hair now. Thank you. Ready? Go get it. Good boy. You got Nana? Yes. <laughs> you just give up like that, huh? Oh, you know you're not gonna win. 
Poor little pup. Poor little pup. Yeah. Today is the 20th of March 2019, which just so happens to also be the March equinox. It is the official first day of spring for the Northern Hemisphere, the official first day of autumn for the Southern Hemisphere. And Cyprus being located just about on the north half of the globe means that we are now celebrating the start of my favourite season. And traditionally every year I start this season out by replanting, potting up and resoiling my garden. All of these guys need potting up. This isn't quite my whole garden. Unfortunately, you guys know last year, my health was uh, the worst it's been for a very long time. And as a result, I had to let a lot of my normal hobbies go and one of them was my garden. So I lost about one to two thirds of my plants last year. Not happy about that in the slightest. So I don't have a huge garden left over, unfortunately, but my plan is this year to start building it up again. I will start with a little warning for any plant parents out there. You are going to see a little bit of neglect that's left over from my poor care of these guys last year. There are a lot of browning leaves, there are a lot of shriveled cacti. Um, it's, it's not the greatest looking thing, but that's what we're working on this year, getting these guys back to full health and slowly regrow in the garden. Here's a quick overview of the plants that are going to need maintenance today. Again, like I said, it's mostly repotting, changing their soil, ready for the growing season. A little bit of fertilizing, um, taking off some browning leaves. You can see I've got uh, an aloe here who is just looking absolutely awful. This cactus is so shriveled he looks like a snowman. I have a very, 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 very sad looking Hawarthia. And even my beloved ponytail palm is not looking great. His bulb isn't looking too bad. I have already taken him out of his soil because his soil was an absolute mess. But look at the roots on him. I'm also going to be taking care of Dan's avocado. He's been growing this in water and it's looking great. And this beauty is the newest addition to my garden. I thought I would treat myself and get one new plant. This is an arrowhead vine, also I believe called a go uh, goosefoot vine. He came in this really pretty pot that I love, which he's not going to be staying in. I am going to be keeping him in his nursery pot but I'm going to be moving his nursery pot into this one over here and using this for something else. While I am dealing with my dung cane, I should take this opportunity to just talk real quickly about plant toxicity and pets because there are lots and lots of plants out there, including dung canes, that can pose some risk to your pets if they decide to eat them. So if you are going to be having houseplants, if you are uh, newly interested in keeping houseplants, or in fact even outdoor plants that your pets will have access to, I highly recommend doing a few testers first with different kinds of perfectly safe plants just to see how your pets react to them. The last thing you want to be doing is bringing a plant into your home that poses some kind of risk to your pet and then finding out whether or not they have an interest. Not every cat and dog cares about chewing on plants and plants have different levels of toxicity and some animals will respond to those and some animals won't. In my situation, my pets could not care less for leafy plants like this. They really are not interested. However, when it comes to grass plants, like for example, my spider plant here, they love grasses. So I can bring pretty much any leafy plant into my home and I don't have to worry about it because I know that my pets are not going to bother it in any way, shape or form. But I have to be a lot more careful when it comes to grassy plants because I know that if they can get access to these, they will destroy them. So there is something to be aware of if you've never had plants before, if your pets have never really come into contact with them. First start out with plants that you know 100% are safe if your pets chew on them, find out what they're interested in, what they don't care about, uh, and then you can go from there on choosing plants.
I love plants that are easy to propagate and arrowhead vines are one of those plants. They're so easy to start a new second plant from. Uh, I'm not going to do one right now because he's still very small and, and bushy and compact. But when he gets a little bigger, I do think I will be trying to make a few more of him. And this is the pot that the nursery pot is now going to be going into. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I wanted him to be something that was a little deeper so you could just see his leafy top. And I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to put him. I think I may put him in the bedroom because there's a lot of sunlight in the bedroom. Um, and I think you'll like that. This plant right here is my absolute all-time favorite succulent. This is an Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg. The reason I love these plants so, so much is because in the summertime, when they get a lot of sunlight, they turn a gorgeous purpley blue color. They look absolutely stunning. Happy now you get a bit of time out, huh? I tell you what, Ozzy's looking really good for her age. She's almost 20 months old, and normally I found with my dwarf hamsters, unlike my Syrians, which tend to look beautiful forever until the very last minute, and then they suddenly go downhill and sort of do all their aging over the course of uh, the last couple of weeks. I found with my dwarf hamsters that once they pass 18 months, they seem to get old really quickly, and it shows really quickly, but she doesn't look as old as she is. Hey. While Osmium is having a play around in the playpen, I'm going to give her cage a quick spot clean because it is a mess in here. She has dug everything up. It's at the right state. Look at her wheel. It's disgusting. I have to clean this so often because she's just so gross. Ugh. Wheel peers are the worst. So here's her hoard that she was keeping in her nest. This is what's left of her nesting material. I'll change that too. Uh, <laughs> She is an extreme order. She hoards so much food and an extreme pooer as well. So what I need to do is take all this old food and chuck it out because it's going to be gross and stale. But it's really important when you change the hoard that you do replace it. So I'm going to be popping some more food, not quite as much as this, maybe about half the amount, um, back in under her nest. So she still has a good hoard to keep her comfortable. Now, are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know not nah, now. Cause your love made me, made me go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me that? What am I hearing? It feels like a heart attack. Someone help me catch my breath again How did you stop loving me? How is that even possible? Possible How could we let love go? How could we move on? Move on 
the time Tell me now if you want out What are you saying? Come on, let's hit it out I'm about to lose my mind again How did you stop living? Try to get up. 